really nifty little jig designed to place uh, angled legs in a, I specifically used it for these circular stools, to make sure that each of those legs is set at the same angle, like this one I prepared earlier. So, in terms of actually deciding what angle the legs are gonna be, this jig won't help you, but you need to decide that on your own. I usually use a big carpenter's set square, put it up against the edge of the stool, and then decide on, hold a leg in place, use a little um, angle finder to decide on that angle that I'm gonna use, and then I transfer that angle to the drill table. In order to use this jig, you obviously need to have a drill table which tilts, and most of them do, so it shouldn't be a big problem. And you need to set your drill table so that that angle that we decided on corresponds with the uh, angle between the table and the drill bit itself. Now, I'm using a 35mm tungsten carbide tipped boring bit by Torcata. Creates a really nice clean hole. And I'm gonna be, I'm using a 35 millimeter one because my legs are 35 millimeters and I want them to slide in just perfectly. So the guts of this jig is essentially just a supplementary plate that you put on your drill press table. And it has these stops which will hold your circular object captive. Now, I like to make them so that they're a little bit loose and then I use a couple of little hardwood wedges to lock it in place because it's really important that this is very firmly locked in place. You could also use a toggle clamp or some other method of clamping, but this is simple and it works really well for me. Now, in the center of the location where this round object is gonna sit, you need to mark these three lines which will dictate the positioning of your legs. Now I'm doing a three-legged stool, so I have three lines evenly spaced, 120 degrees apart. If you were doing a four-legged stool, obviously you'd have them at 90 degrees apart. You have one mark on the edge of your stool, which lines up with your first line. You drill the hole, move it to your second line, drill the hole, so forth, until you do all three of them, and they'll all be at the exact angle that you need them to be. Now, in terms of locating the center of this bit in from the edge of the stool. That is just a matter of bringing this force a bit down a little bit and adjusting the position of this base plate. Now mine is perfectly set. I've already done a number of stools, so I don't want to move it again, but it's pretty self-explanatory. If your hole is too close to the edge, move this whole jig down a little bit and vice versa. So you, the last thing you need to do is make sure that the depth is set. Now, if you want this hole to go the whole way through the stool and come out the other side so that you have an exposed dowel when you've placed your leg in, then just make sure that the depth is set so it can go the whole way through. I want this to only go halfway. I didn't want those dowels to be exposed. I just really like this um, very weathered uh, black butt and I don't want to disturb it with some big dowels through it. So I'm only having this go down partially and I've set my depth stop to make sure it cannot go any further than I want it to. Now, like I said earlier, it is very important that this is held down firmly. Because this is a circular object and the drill is pushing in a circular direction, you will find that it will try and twist on you. So the wedges are very important. I've got my first line marked with my reference line here. I'm gonna put one wedge in, give it a few taps, lock that in, and I'm gonna put two other wedges in, even though they're not as necessary, just so it's super locked in place. The other thing I'm doing is I'm putting the wedges on uh, the high side of each of these blocks, which means that if the object tried to turn, it would be grabbing tighter rather than loosening those wedges. So that's something to think about as well. That's all locked in place, we're ready to drill. Now just go in really slowly at first because it is going at an angle. You don't want that drill bit to push out of the way. And again, if there's any sign of movement, you need to reset this and make sure it's very firm.
So we've got three holes set at a perfect angle to the perfect depth. They're all really clean. Just love this jig. It works so well. It's really, really simple. You could use this with a square stool where you needed angles or um, I've actually even thrown a desk top onto uh, the drill press table and use this in a really similar way. Slightly different jig, but same idea about setting that angle and keeping it that way. Um, really handy. And these um, tungsten carbide tipped bits just do a great job. It's a really smooth finish, which gives you a really strong glue joint, means your legs are gonna slide in there just perfectly. So um, that's it for this one. Jump down below and subscribe. There's plenty more of these videos. We're gonna keep messing around with this stool in a couple of videos. And um, you can jump onto Timbercon's website if you want to grab one of these boring bits as well. Uh, there'll be a link down below for that as well. Mm -hmm.